thing has gotten much bigger. This is a large tornado now. There it is! We have touchdown, people! days or parts of Colorado, okay, since last week, not only have you had to deal with flooding rain, damaging hail, but tornadoes. Yeah, this is the time of the year where severe weather really ramps up across Colorado, Denver, eastern Colorado. It's provided us some, yes, amazing, but also very da dangerous pictures and video. In fact, take a look at this. Eastern Colorado, like about Denver, June is typically the time when you really see an uptick in your occurrence of tornadoes, especially severe weather as well. Also stays high there in July, but look at the difference what happens in May. 33, we almost triple that, plus some into June. Yeah, the upper dynamics, you know, they just move a little farther north as we get later into the uh, spring and into the summer, and that's exactly what happens. It just pops straight up into Denver, out of the southern plains, and that's where you see those tornadoes really crank up as well. Yeah, great place to track tornadoes if you can do it safely. Again, right. the High Plains drifters coming up the High Plains looking fantastic, chase for miles, and Speaking of chasing for miles, take a look at this, an incredible video of a very rare tornado that occurred last Thursday in Simla, Colorado. It's not only rare to see a tornado up close and personal like this with such beautiful structure, not hurting anybody, clearly we're not interacting with, in this particular moment, any homes or anything, which is nice, but it's rare for another reason as well. In fact, we're talking about this is a 1 in 1,000th occurrence, so what's so special about this? Jim Cantore explains. If you'll notice what's happening here, all right, you're actually getting the debris around this thing rotating clockwise. So it's a rare clockwise rotating tornado. And typically, or excuse me, anticyclonic or clockwise. I want to use that word anticyclonic because typically uh, cyclonic would be counterclockwise here in the northern hemisphere. You can see the big rain shaft uh, behind this thing. A great shot to, to, to kind of wrap up double debris power here. So you know, you've got the debris near the ground, but it's also being pulled up almost perfectly along the tornado. And that's really what gives us the hint that this is anticyclonic. I mean, you can see it rotating clockwise here. And so how do you get uh, what is typically known as about a 1 in a 1,000 occurrence here uh, with tornadoes. All right, let's, let's talk about the radar image. We'll bring this up and uh, kind of give you a little heads up on what, what may have happened through here. So here's the radar, and, and if you look at this, you say, oh, okay, classic supercell, air coming in here on the, on the east side, air coming out of the back side. Here's the shear zone, so there's the gust front right in through here. The rain that I showed you in yellow is right in here, big rain shaft out of this thing. But something else is going on in through here, and it's right on this notch, right in through here. There's a little something different. So let's look at the storm relative velocity a little bit. This kind of the wind direction. Right? So again, uh, showing up here, wind's coming in, uh, air coming out of, and of course the gust front which is right in through here. But so look, think about a river. When you look at a river, the center part of the river is going uh, at the fastest, right? But between two rocks, you can get these little eddies. Some are rotating clockwise, the other are rotating counterclockwise. Here is what's rotating counterclockwise on this side. Here is what's rotating clockwise. So this little eddy, and right on that notch, uh, you can actually see where the tornado is. That little, that, that little, that little gate to gate right there, little clockwise tornado rarity, but it can happen. That is incredible. That is some information they can take out with you on a Friday night. Tell people all about the anti-cyclonic tornado in Colorado. Take it to the club. <laughs> take it to the club. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So, uh, you know, we have something going on in the tropics as well. Yes. This one's cyclonic. Yeah. In fact, this was uh, one point a powerful cat.